Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T, and I hope you guys are doing good today. So, yes, I posted that 40-second video kind of breaking down what was going on on my channel and how they took away my live stream. So I'm still trying to fight that, but it's all good. They're not going to stop me from posting videos. You know what I'm saying? The tea sipping nation is hella strong, and I'm going to keep on cranking out these videos for y'all. So if you guys don't know, I've been real busy this week, like I've told you guys before, but you guys started tagging me yesterday so much so they had to jump on Instagram to see what the heck was going on going on and what was going down is that once again Cardi B is back on Instagram and she's back in her feelings ranting and raving okay so a lot of people want to know what happened they wanted the breakdown because she made this long rant she posted this picture of this vlogger and went in on her and then she deleted everything okay delete all that shit delete all that what happened is that basically the blogger she was talking about, it's a female called She Gossip. So she wrote a blog about Cardi B basically saying that, you know, Cardi B's stupid. She signed a 360 deal. You know, she allows her man to keep cheating on her. And then she also says some things about Hennessy Carolina and Cardi B's best friend, Star Brim, okay? So when she wrote this blog, The Shade King, he's another Instagram blogger, he posted the link to her blog. And then that's when Hennessy Carolina went down to his comment section and they started going back and forth they got into it and then she gossips came out of nowhere then they were all going back and forth with Hennessy and then at that point is when Cardi B jumped into it and made a whole post blasting she gossips this entire situation is a hot damn mess I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the back and forth between the Shade King and Hennessy and she gossips and I'm gonna go ahead and read to you what Cardi B wrote about she gossips go ahead and check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary <laughs> All right, so you guys just saw the back and forth between Cardi B, Hennessy, and the Shade King. So this is what Cardi B had to say about She Gossip. Let's get to it since she want to talk fake facts. You have an internet blog with 25,000 followers. You don't get paid for shit. You talk and blog and give fake receipts. Stock artists for free. Damn, at least the Shade Room, Bottle Alert, Tea Tenders, Hollywood Unlocked get paid. You doing it for... 
You talk about people's bodies constantly shaming how people look, but you look like this. I'm a millionaire, honey. Either way you flip it or what you say, all my dreams came true before I turned 25. You want to talk about my spelling? When I write checks and go to the bank, all they worried about is the signature. So fuck it. My sister is not my shadow. We act alike, but we are different with different goals, different passions. You want to talk about my relationship, but you in your mid-30s. Where's your man, marriage or ring? You want to talk about my friend at Starbrim 5's appearance, but look at you. Nothing wrong with self-love, but don't be putting down others to make yourself feel better. Let's be positive today, guys. Say something nice. All right, so that's what Cardi B had to say about she gossips. So, of course, her Barty gang went to her Instagram page, which was blocked, but they said it was already private before the whole Cardi B thing. But they went to her YouTube comment section, started going in on her, dragging her. And then, of course, Cardi B's best friend, Star Brim, was also in the comment section, basically, you know, asking the girl, does she want smoke? Does she want to link up? And I was able to grab these screenshots of Star Brim talking about the situation before Cardi B deleted the entire post. So after Cardi B deleted that whole rant, she then decided to come onto Instagram and explain everything. Thing. And then she proceeded to post, you know, her graduation picture, her college ID, basically trying to, you know, shut out the naysayers who were saying that she's illiterate and uneducated and that she's a, you know, she's a high school dropout. So basically she was trying to shut down all the haters. And then on top of that, people started going to start brim. Like, you know what? You need to stop fighting Cardi B's battles. Why is she always tagging you and shit? You know what I'm saying? Why are you being Cardi B's watchdog? Why are you being her yes man and you're a dark skinned female? So of course that started a whole another colorism debate so then after cardi b made her videos star brim took to instagram live and she went off as well and started talking about the whole situation with her and cardi b so i want y'all to go ahead and check out all this footage check this out and i'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary hey everybody what's good my wig is lifting right now my wig is lifting right now i'm mad sweaty i look mad fucking sherms so you know what i'm saying i'm gonna cover my face but let me tell you something right i hate when people provoke and people and people don't see when people provoke you. They just see when you retaliate. And I'm sick of it. And I don't give a fuck. You know, a lot of people always want to talk about how I look, how I talk. People always want to find excuses for my success. And then it's just like, you want to know something? I'm getting used to it. But what I'm not going to allow is how hard my friends work, how hard my sister work. And y'all want to discredit them. And then what you're not going to do is talk shit about my, how my beautiful friends, how my beautiful sister look. You're not going to talk about they look and you expect me to not say nothing. Y'all not going to provoke me. And then when it's like I say something, I retaliate. Oh, Cardi, you should be bigger than that. Nah, fuck that shit. You want attention? I'm going to motherfucking give it to you. Thank you. Let's talk about it because a lot of people always want to on my old phone a lot of people always want to talk about like i don't have an education and everything but this is my high school this is my high school senior book i'm trying to find my damn diploma but i gotta wait till my mom come you know who's that right there is that is that me yes that was me those were my friends in high school and everything that was me right there you know because Renaissance High School class of 2010, but you know, I didn't graduate school. Is that me right there? Is that me right there? That's me. Is that me right there as most dramatic in 2010 Renaissance High School senior book? But you know, a bitch like me didn't have no motherfucking education and everything. I hopefully I could find my um college ID because you know I went to BMCC Borough Manhattan Community College, but you know my stupid ass. <sighs> so if which i don't believe isn't like i don't believe it say cardi had me around only for physical okay i'm serving a purpose it's some people that's around that is not <laughs> they have no purpose they're just around just to be around 
Like, they're here just to be here. If a person was using me financially, I'm glad that I'm able to be used. If a person is using me for beef, I'm glad to be used. If a person is using me just so I can sit there and tell them good advice, at least I'm being used. Because if y'all bitches be dead broke, my nigga, like, it's so funny because instead of y'all hating, <laughs> y'all need to learn to get next to certain people so you can get that bag. You heard? Or learn how to get that bag. When I say and I started to be around people, nobody never helped me get shit on blood, nigga. Nobody helped me get nothing. I watched. I eavesdropped, I googled, and I started learning how to do shit on my own. That's what the fuck I did. Straight like that. I started learning how to have my money make money. I started learning like I, I made all this scamming money. Let me let me now make this legal money. You heard? Nobody wanted to put a bitch on, you feel me? Nobody wanted to help me. I'ma help myself. It's cool, I'ma help myself. I got more than 20 bands in my hand. That is a lot more than this. This is what I made within, within two days. Two days, you heard? Legal. What's up? What's up? Like, talk to me nice. Or don't talk to me at all. All right, so you guys just saw that back and forth. You guys saw what Cardi B had to say. You guys saw what Star Brim had to say. So this entire situation is a hot damn mess. You know, the thing I don't understand about Cardi is that this girl is literally about seven months pregnant. You know, she'll be due very soon. And she keeps focusing on the negativity. Why keep bringing attention to somebody who's supposedly beneath you? If you're such a millionaire and you're so happy with your fantastic new life, then why does she always get pressed about what these bloggers are saying about her it just doesn't make any sense you know what i'm saying you have over 20 million followers or something like that and getting still you're bringing this lady who has 25,000 followers you're bringing her all of this attention and for what you know what i'm saying then it's crazy because she'll post stuff she'll go on a rant and then delete everything you know so a lot of folks were dragging Cardi B for that. And they're saying, you know what? You need to worry about your pregnancy. Stop stressing yourself. She claims that she didn't want no more drama. She was done with the drama of Instagram. That's why she deleted her Instagram last weekend when her and Azealia Banks got into it. Only for her to come back and create some more drama that didn't need to be created. The problem with Cardi and a lot of these celebrities is that they like the good part that come with fame. The money, the notoriety, the free clothes, the, you know, sponsorship deals. They love that part, but they hate the criticism part. They hate the part where everybody's not going to be a fan of them or people might make up lies people might say some untruths but at the end of the day you know who you are you know your situation with your man your best friend your sister so no matter what somebody writes about you it shouldn't get to you that deeply and I think that Cardi B stays way too pressed for somebody who claims to be a millionaire and for somebody who claims to be so happy she should not really be caring so much about what these people are saying about her you know what I mean if she's living her best life so I think it's really unfortunate that she gave this entire situation and energy once again it just makes her look weak and it just makes it seem like she's always pressed now as far as star brim a lot of people feel like you know what she's cardi b's watchdog and you know why she's always trying to fight for cardi b but what y'all don't realize is that they've been friends for a long time she was with cardi b before the fame that's been her homegirl they worked the strip club together so i can understand why star brim goes hard for cardi b she was in the red bars videos you know they've been down that's been her day one so i get that you know why wouldn't she go hard for her being that cardi b I'm sure is helping her out, looking out for her as well. You know, and as far as her sister, Hennessy Carolina, y'all know how I feel about her. She's just a loud mouth knockoff of Cardi B. She's annoying as hell. You know what I'm saying? Pretty girl, but just fucking annoying. She just talks way too much and she's always pressed. It's like, you know what I mean? Let your sister be great. Do you form your own personality outside of your sister? Like when I see her, I just see Cardi. I don't really see a difference. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like what's up, bitch? Yeah. yeah, yeah. If you don't like me or my sister, suck my dick and see me great. <laughs> and I understand being family, they're going to have each other's back. 
But it seems like she's so busy popping off about stupid stuff. You know what I mean? Why even go into a gossiper's comment section and start addressing them? No one is going to get your pregnant sister triggered. So the whole situation is a hot damn mess. But you know what? I'm here for it, bitch. Okay. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this crazy situation. Once again, concerning Cardi B, Hennessy, Carolina, and Star Brim versus the bloggers of Instagram. You know, it was a crazy story, but I told you I was going to get to the bottom of it and get everything figured out. So I hope I brought you guys up to speed on what went down yesterday on Instagram. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.